looks like a huge mountain cave with a giant pathway leading in. What an excellent place to go and play. No, it looks like an enormous creature waiting to swallow us all. Like I said, what an excellent place to go and play. <laughs> I think it's a huge snake. Look, its upper lip is touching the clouds and its teeth look like mountain peaks. That huge dark cave is its mouth. You're right, that giant pathway, it's its tongue. And the smell must be its breath. <laughs> this is great, let's go in. <laughs> Don't worry, if we all go in at once, it couldn't possibly swallow us all. And even if it did, it couldn't swallow Krishna. Krishna will kill him easily, just as he did Bakasura. And Putana. And Tunavaka. And Shakatasura. And Vatsasura. <laughs> Come on, friends, follow me. Oh no, Krishna has entered into the mouth of Agasura. Our only hope, our dear Lord, has been swallowed by the terrible demon. We're doomed. <laughs> Wait, look, it looks like Aga is choking. You're right, he's suffocating. Look at the way his eyes are moving back and forth so violently. He's dying. Krishna, you killed another horrible demon. Thank you, Krishna. You saved us again. I saw you have a beautiful bank of the Kamanava. My dear demigods, I could hear the sounds of your celebrations all the way from my home in Brahmaloka. What is the occasion? What has caused such a celebration? Do you see this immense focus of a terrible snake demon? Our dear Lord Krishna, darling and Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj, has finally, finally relieved us of our fear and has killed our foe, August Lord. Jai Krishna! Jai Krishna! Krishna? But he's just a young boy. How could he possibly defeat such a powerful demon as Agasura? Hmm. How amazing. I'd like to see more of his pastimes with my own. Don't worry, so my mother makes the, makes the best ones in all of Raja. You're right, Rock Talk, and good thing she packed it up for you to share. Hey! Hey, give that back! At least I have to do delicious luck. Hey, where did my lunches go? You know who the best cook in all of Vrindavan is? Mother Yashoda! <laughs> really, guys, where am I allowed to? <laughs> hey, where did our cats go? Krishna, our cats have wandered away. Don't worry, I'll go find it. My dear friends, where have you gone? How strange. This is the very spot that my friends were sitting down to eat lunch. But now they seem to have vanished. Mm. Rama. Rama has stolen all my friends and calves. It's time to go back home. But how can I go home with my, without my friends empty hand? To my mother's empty handed. I must expand myself to look identical to my friends and calves. Gopinanda, the mother cows have already charged down Gopinanda Hill to meet their calves. 
Have you ever seen them greet each other with such affection? Subal, my dear son, the apple of my eye, my most beloved. My dear Rakta, Cheetah, how I've missed you today. But Papa, we've only been gone for 10 minutes. Well, it seems like it has been longer. Here, I brought you some of your favorite lotus. Dear brother, I have been noticing that the people of Vrindavan have been acting very affectionate to their children. What could possibly be wrong with that? They greeted each other so lovingly. Exactly. The people of Vrindavan have always been loving to their children, but lately they cannot contain their love. Today the cows charge down over on hill to meet their cows. Both cows and coward men have shown the same amount of affection that they usually show only towards you. It appears to me that the calves and coward boys are actually your friends. I knew it. But where have the real cows and coward boys gone? Krishna, please tell me what happened. Well, remember how on your birthday, Mother Rohini kept you home so she could celebrate with all the proper rituals? Yes, I remember. That was almost a year ago. Well, on that day, Lord Brahma came to fill all of my friends and cats. I expected myself to look identical to them so that our mothers were not worried. Well, then what choice did I have? Brahma, this should teach him a valuable lesson not to outsmart the Supreme Personality of Godhead. By my mystic power, I have kept all the boys and girls in the of Vrindavan locked safely in a cave for a whole year. That's just one moment in my planet, Brahmaloka, the highest planet in the whole universe. And I should know that, because after all, I am the creator of this creation. Let's go see what I have caused on Earth. What? How is this possible? All the boys and cows are locked safely in a cave, yet here they are. Are they, are they real? <laughs> Thank you. 